You. In the last hour, the Justice Department announced that a Pakistani man with ties to Iran was arrested for a plot to kill former President Trump. This plot was foiled. We're not even a month from the assassination attempt in Pennsylvania. What is the administration's reaction to this? I mean, another assassination attempt. So I'll say this. Uh, so we are aware of the, of the indictment uh, that you're mentioning by the DOJ today. Going to be really mindful. I will refer you to uh, DOJ as it's an ongoing law enforcement investigation. I, I'll add this, that based on DOJ's ongoing investigation, there has been no evidence to suggest that the individual named in today's indictment has any connection to the assassination attempt against former President Trump that happened in Butler, Pennsylvania. Uh, but I, but anything else, that is something that I would have to refer to. Department of Justice. What happened? I mean, this, uh, this alleged plot. Uh, look, we have said many, many times, and I want to be really clear because this is a DOJ, it's an ongoing law enforcement DOJ indictment, so I'm going to be really mindful. But we have said many times that we have been tracking Iranian threats against former uh, politicians. We've been very clear about that. Uh, these threats arise from Iran's desire to seek revenge for the killing uh, of uh, Qasem uh, Soleimani. We consider this a national and homeland security matter of the highest priority, the highest priority. We have repeatedly met at the highest levels of our government to develop and implement a comprehensive response to, this, to these threats. As part of the comprehensive response, we have invested extraordinary resources in developing additional information about these threats, disrupting individuals involved in these threats, enhancing protective arrangements and potential targets of these threats, engaging with foreign partners, and directly warning Iran. So we've been clear. We have said this for the past uh, past several months, for some time now. Uh, but as I just stated, we're aware of the indictment announcement today by DOJ. That is something DOJ to speak directly to on the specifics. If I may follow up on